so you want me to tell you the story of my life? Well, I guess yeah, that's what I do. I, uh, I interview people. I'm a collector of lives. FM radio, KFRC. You'd have to have a lot of tape for my story. Oh, that's no problem. I got a bag full of tape right here. You followed me here, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I suppose I did. You, you seem very interesting. This is where you live? No. Just a room. I want you to see we get started. So, what do you do? I'm a vampire. <laughs> That's something I haven't heard before. You, uh, you mean this literally, I take it? Absolutely. I was waiting for you in that alleyway. Watching you, watching me. And then you began to speak. What a lucky break for me. Perhaps lucky for both of us. You, uh, said you were waiting for me. What were, what were you gonna do? Kill me, drink my blood, all that stuff? Yes. But you needn't be concerned with that now. You really believe this, don't you, that you're a vampire? We can't begin this way. Let me turn on the light. The vampires didn't like the light. We love it. I only wanted to prepare you. Christ. Don't be frightened. I want this opportunity. How the hell did you do that? The same as you do. A series of simple gestures. Only I moved too fast for you to see. I'm flesh and blood, but not human. I haven't been human for 200 years. Please. How can I put you at ease? Shall we begin like David Copperfield? I am born, I grew up. Or shall we begin when I was born to darkness, as I call it? That's really where we should start, don't you think? You're not lying to me, are you? Why should I lie? 1791 was the year it happened. I was 24, younger than you are now. The times were different then. I was a man at that age the master of a large plantation just south of New Orleans. I had lost my wife in childbirth. She and the infant had been buried less than half a year. I would have been happy to join them. I couldn't bear the pain of their loss. I longed to be released from it. to lose it all, my wealth, my estate, my sanity. How many you saw in the deck? Are you calling me a cheat? I'm calling you a piece of stinking offal. the courage of your convictions, sir. Do it. Most of all, I longed for death. I know that now. I invited it. A release from the pain of living. at my side, to the pimp that followed. But it was a vampire that accepted. Money or you die. Oh. 
Do you still want death? Or have you tasted it enough? Enough? He left me there on the banks of the Mississippi. Somewhere between life and death. 